guys so for this video i initially wanted it to be a vlog sort of like me vlogging my day but then i filmed this video and it was like 30 minutes so i think this is just going to be its video a video on its own and i recently read all of the like the trilogy of the summer i turned pretty and i wanted to just give my thoughts on it and like each of the books and then my thoughts on the series because i just finished the series this morning and this whole like all my thoughts are good i mean i loved the whole entire series i loved the show series i loved this and really i just wanted to give my thoughts on like the characters and that sort of st like stuff but i wanted to put this in my tbr from my book video of like two videos ago and i forgot and then i really wanted to read this book whenever the series came out so i i bought it but i didn't get in mail until like i was in the third book so i read two of these online and then i read half of this like physical copy but there's a lot of like the whole series i enjoyed but there's a lot to say about everything but the first book is summer i turned pretty by jenny han and she oh I'll, and if you don't know what this whole entire series is i mean a, a lot of people already have like binge watched the whole entire show and then the books came out like a while ago, but um, she also wrote to all the boys I've loved before. So in this book, essentially like this whole entire series is about this girl named Belly, who is has had a huge crush on Conrad. And okay, so Belly, she, her mom and her brother, they always visit cousins. And her mom's best friend is Susanna. And Susanna has two boys, Conrad and Jeremiah. Conrad is like a year older than Belly, like two years, and then Jeremiah is a year older. And Belly has always liked Conrad. And this summer it's different because like she's older and she wants or she wants Conrad to notice her, but also she realizes that Conrad does like her. But uh, the confusing thing is, is Jeremiah also does. So that's like a conflict right there. And in this book, it's like, essentially who's she gonna pick, Jeremiah, Conrad. But she also meets this guy, Cameron, like from this 4th of July party, which she, like she figures that it's never gonna happen with Conrad. So she dates, she like she dates Cameron. But I mean, I liked Cameron in the book, in the series, but really like, you knew that nothing was going to happen. Like, a relationship wasn't really going to form. But in this book, like, Conrad is very stoic and he's like a hard to read person. And it's like he's in that within the whole series, except for like the last book, which is really kind of when he opens up a little bit. And like, if you read it, then you understand like why he's like this because there's a reason. And like a spoiler, just skip 10 seconds if you don't want to hear. Which is really, it's not a spoiler. But Conrad's mom has, like, she, her cancer comes back. And so that's why he's, like, hiding, or not hiding, but he's, like, holding in his feelings. And, like, that part I understand. But still, I mean, like, that's why he's kind of that kind of character that you don't like, but you also love. Like with Belly, he never expressed his feelings. He was very to himself. And then like you get frustrated with that. But that's why I also liked his character. So really like I didn't like, like if I would be annoyed with him, like I was annoyed with his character and what he was saying, like what he was not saying basically. And at the same time, I loved his character. But like as a person, really his character wasn't, great to Belly and how he treated her. And also in this book, since Conrad is, again, he's like this very hard to read person and he doesn't open up to Belly, Jeremiah also likes Belly. And he tells her that he likes her, which is not a spoiler. It says in the back. So yeah, but Jeremiah, like, I'm also gonna explain like my feelings for Jeremiah, but he, he's a character that's like just a friend for Belly. And I just can't see anything more than that. Like nothing romantic, everything platonic. Like even though in the book, again, it's not a spoiler, like in the 
in the back of this book it, it already says but even though like in this book she at, at, at a time she does like him it's like I just can't see it even though like Jenny Han writes and they're in like a relationship for a short period it's still like I just can't imagine it and like Jeremiah is a very good person but just I see him as a friend for Belly and that was essentially like the whole first book um, also the ending of this first book it ends with not like a cliffhanger but you want to read like right to the second and then well this book picks up where this left off and it's like something with Conrad and then you read this book and it's like it picks up right where it left off and then that's why I really liked it. I read this book well I read this one in like four days which is because I read like 30 pages and then I didn't read for two days and then I read the rest of the book in like a day and a half but this was a really good book I bought the whole series even though I didn't read it online because I knew that I'd want to read it again but this one It's Not Summer Without You is the sequel or like the second book and in this book it focuses like the beginning is her relationship with Conrad which again it's not a spoiler it's right here and the thing is like Conrad disappears at a time again because of his character he likes to run away from things he doesn't face his feelings and so she has to like go with Jeremiah to find him and stuff so that's complicated because she has feelings for both and also Taylor visits Taylor's her best friend um, I liked her more in the series I don't know like in the book she like she doesn't like how Belly is changing essentially like she's growing up and she doesn't like that which that's I I don't find Taylor annoying but sometimes I just I don't really like her that much but I don't know in the series I did like her a little bit more and she was less critical I don't know um but if you read the series and watched the series, then you kind of understand, I think. But again, I don't like Conrad in this book either. And it's very annoying, like how he acts. But then again, at the same time, he's my one of my favorite characters. He is my favorite character, I think. Conrad and Belly. Well, obviously Belly, but I mean, between Jeremiah and Conrad, I like Conrad better. Even though I'm saying like all these negative things. But I'll explain why later. And in this book, she like goes with Jeremiah to try to find Conrad. And then that's where they, their relationship strengthens, I guess. But honestly, I can't remember much about this book. I read it in a day, too. And so I, I read it super fast. But it really just focuses, like this book is mainly who to pick, like Jeremiah or Conrad. And that's essentially like this one. And that's really all I'm going to say. I mean, this book was very good. I finished it in like a day and a half. And in this book, Conrad is kind of, he's more stoic because it's not a spoiler. Just skip like 10 seconds if you don't want to hear it. Um, but Susanna, her cancer, like she dies. And that's why he's like this. But, and I understand he, he wants to keep everything in. He doesn't want to hurt the people that he loves. And at the same time, like that's why you kind of have to give in to his perspective. But then again, he doesn't have to act the way he is, like shutting everybody out. But that's why his way of coping, probably. So it's very complicated. I don't know. That's his character, really. And that's the second book. And then the third book, which is We'll Always Have Summer, focuses on Belly in her first year of college. And in this book, it's like she goes to the same college as Jeremiah and their relationship starts basically and really like although they're in a relationship this whole entire book it was not like the whole entire book they're in a relationship but still I couldn't picture them together like they're just friends in my head and the whole time it's like Jeremiah is a very good like morally good person and 
he respects Belly. He does like what's right. Essentially, like the opposite of Conrad. And that's why, like, I like his character. But again, like for Belly, it's just a friendship. I feel like. And also the crazy thing that happens in here, which this is a little bit of a spoiler, so it does say on the book, like on the back of the blurb. But if you don't want to hear it, like if you want to read this series without any spoilers, then I would skip to like this number. But Jeremiah, but like if you don't care, then just keep watching. And Jeremiah proposes to Belly, which is what I, I don't know, like this I feel like was way too fast. Again, I just can't see Belly and Jeremiah, so that's why I, I ignored it. Like, I didn't ignore it, but the whole thing was weird, I think. And I do think it was essential, though, for Belly and Conrad to realize, like, their feelings and stuff. And Belly, like, she goes to Cousin's Beach to plan the wedding, but Conrad is there. And so now, Belly has a bunch of these feelings, and they are, like, all brought up. And she has to see whether she wants to pick Jeremiah or Conrad, even though like it's her fiance. You know, that's why I think it's on her part. She should have thought that she, you know, she still has feelings for Conrad. She has to be honest. But then again, Conrad is, you know, how he acts, and so she didn't think any was anything was going to happen. And this was, uh, I think, my one of my favorite ones. Like, either the first book or the second one is my- or not the second, the first or the third is one of my favorites. And another spoiler, um, she does end up with Conrad, which I'm very happy about. Because although, yes, Jeremiah is the perfect person, like, that you would imagine, it's just she didn't love him like Conrad. And... Also, he redeems himself later on. Like with the letters, I think that was, I like that part of the book. Um, like where she goes on a, what's it called? Belly, essentially she breaks up with Jeremiah. She calls off the wedding because of Conrad and how he admits his feelings. And then she doesn't take him back, Conrad, but she goes on like a, a trip to Spain, I think for like school and Conrad starts sending letters to her, kind of hoping that she would take him back. And I really like that part, I'm trying to find it, like right here. And you get to read it, which I really like. And you get to see that he's opening up more, which is what I wanted. And that's why I like um, Conrad most in this book. But that's essentially all of the books, the whole entire series. And these are all the books. But I really liked the ending. Honestly, the wedding caught me off guard with Jeremiah and um, Belly. But I liked it. And also, it these are really not spoilers since it is on the back. But I really recommend reading it. Because although this is, like, you can tell that this series is essentially guided towards, like, 11 through 13 year olds. It's a series that you really would enjoy. I don't know, I liked it. Even though it was geared towards a younger audience, I read it really fast. It was, I was hooked on like everything. And it's a pretty basic plot, sort of. You know, these two people that you have to choose between. But still, it was a fun book, I really liked it. Um, and I'm definitely gonna reread it probably almost every summer, I think. Cause I reread a lot of summer books that I really enjoy. And I think Jenny Han did a really good adaptation, which now I'm going to talk about the series. And the series, they did change a lot. I think they combined a lot of things that happened in book two also. So I wonder how season two will go. But in the series, Belly, she's kind of exactly how I pictured her, which I really like. Conrad, he's more open, even though he is pretty shut off, like he's doesn't really explain his feelings in the show either. He's kind of how I would imagine him. And then Jeremiah, he's not how I pictured him. That's kind of with every movie adaptation, like book to movie or book to show. But I think they did good like with him being the friend. You know, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people are team Jeremiah. A lot of people 
are on his side, which I understand, but I just see him as a friend for Belly. And then, I liked those three characters. Taylor, I think she was better in the series too. And then I like how they expanded Steve. I, I really forgot if it was Steven or Steve. I'm pretty sure it's Steven. Because I read it so fast, I just forgot what his name was. But I really like how they expanded his character with like his relationship with the other girl in the debutante ball. I forgot what her name is too. But I liked that. And then the one thing I didn't like was like how they expanded on the mom's point of view. Like her relationship with that one guy. If you if you saw the series, you know what I'm talking about. I just felt like it was unnecessary. I don't know. But I still I would give the whole entire series probably 4.5 out of 5. That one little thing probably brought it, brought it down like a 0.5. But I enjoyed the whole series and the debutante ball, I like how they added that. It wasn't, it wasn't in the books at all. It was like a new concept, but I really liked how they added it. I think that was pretty much it, but the series was really good. I started watching it last night like at 10. I went to bed at 12. I woke up this morning and I finished it by like 12 o'clock. And honestly, I'm really excited for season two, which I, season one just came out, but I really liked all the characters, and Conrad definitely is better in the series. And I think that's all my thoughts on like the books and the series. But overall, it was just very fun. I don't know. I liked the debutante ball. That was my favorite, and I liked that addition and like how they changed it. Because I think if they did it exactly how the book was written, it would have been kind of stagnant. Like not a lot of stuff would have happened, and kind of like repetitive with the Jeremiah and Conrad things. But I'm excited to see how they're going to adapt the other two books. And I'm very excited to see how... I'm, I don't know if they're going to adapt the third season. I think they will. I don't know. I think it'll be fun. But that's like two years later probably. But that's really it for the video. I was going to do this as like a vlog, but then this video took really long the first time I filmed it. So I decided to just make this its own video. But if you guys did enjoy it, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And hopefully if you haven't seen this like series or if you haven't read the books, I really recommend reading it. I think a lot of people would like it. It's a pretty basic read. It's, it's a read that you would expect, you know, like the choosing between two people and nothing too unexpected, but I think that's what makes it a good summer read. But that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.